Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I have so much more pep in my step when I wake up, not super early. Anyway, welcome to today is freezing, freezing, and it's kind of a sad day. Let me explain. Every year at this time of the year, we make the trek to Sam's family's house so that we can say happy birthday to his grandpa who's 95 years old. He's been on our channel a few times. We always get excited about it, always. Sam gets excited, we get excited, and Sam and I have been together for 18 years. Wait, 18 years? No. Sam and I have been together for 24 years. 24 years? I don't know how long Sam and I have been together. I don't even know what year we got together. All I know is that Nick was two, <laughs> so yeah. There's that. <laughs> in 26 years, we've never missed a time going to visit Sam's family, never. Actually, that's not true. We missed once, and it was when I had a broken pelvis. So I shattered my pelvis in December and missed Christmas that year with Sam's family. So Sam went, and Gabby went, and Sophia stayed home with me to help me in case I needed something. I'd just gotten home from the hospital, wasn't walking yet, so he stayed home with me. She stayed home with me just to keep me make sure that I was okay. And today, Sophie woke up with a fever. Sophie woke up with a fever, and we've gone there with colds and stuff before, but Sam's grandpa is 95, and I feel nervous to take Sophie with a fever there and make him sick. But also, Sophie is not feeling good. She is not moving, she's not doing a lot, she's just resting. Don't chase them. The weird thing about Sophie, and Sam, and maybe it's not weird, is that they both have issues with their lungs, long-standing issues with their lungs. And when they get sick, they get really sick. When I get a cold and when Gabby gets a cold, we have a runny nose. And we're like, yeah, whatever. But when they get sick, it goes straight to their lungs and they feel awful. We didn't want to ruin the whole trip for the whole family. So I agreed to stay home with Sophie. Like she did stay home with me that long ago time. That's what family is for, you guys. It's for someone always staying back when someone else needs them and that's okay i hate to miss going there we never miss going there we've always made it a priority i love sam's family and we don't get to see them very much because they live far they're older they don't like to drive so the only times we get to see them are the times when we drive up there and unfortunately sophie and i are gonna have to miss it makes me sad but i don't we don't want anybody else to get sick being a little cold is good for your sickness. It actually is good for your sickness. Look, that's one of the babies. Yeah, that's one of the babies we bought in May. Isn't that cute? The bright green. Hopefully that means she lays green eggs. She's supposed no, to. She's brown. Brown? Yep. How do you know? She's the same as our black cup of red. Anyway, I'm about to make a TikTok about what happened to us in the chicken coop the other day. Sophie was going in there because somebody laid an egg in there and only our babies are in there. And so she was like, oh my gosh, one of our babies is laying eggs. I'm like, I don't think so. About two weeks ago, we started leaving this door open so that the babies could come out and do whatever they want, but they, they're not ready. They don't really come out a lot. But anyways, when she went in, she accidentally smacked that door with her butt and it opened. And then what happened, Sophie? There were 27 eggs. 27 eggs in there. So normally we get like three eggs a day over in this section yeah, where that little silky, there's a little silky, she's broody. She's laying on eggs over there. So we usually get like three a day and we're like, okay, it's getting cold out. That's what happens. 27 <laughs> eggs were in here. So just enough so that I didn't feel like any were missing and then in there. So the chickens come out every morning. They go in where the babies are. Oh, holy crap. How many are in there? Like 50. Oh, that's not good. That's from yesterday. So, <laughs> that's her little clutch. Those are the eggs that she's trying to hatch. We're not going to let her hatch anymore. We, today we're going to bring out a marker and write a <coughs> line on them, Sophie, so that we know when a new one gets laid in there because she can't, she's too little. She can't hatch she's all those the eggs. She's the smallest chicken. Anyway, we were freaking out. I have a video of it. If I can, I'll try and put it in here. I don't know if I can. But it, we were freaking out when we found 27 eggs. We've never collected 27 eggs before in one time. 22 eggs we collected tonight out of 12 chickens. Sophie and I are going to go to the store and get some chocolate what are you doing chips. Around bail? I'm and when, 
And when Sam gets home, I will show you why we're buying them. But we needed to get out. I even had a nap today. I literally had a nap today. So I woke up at four to go to the bathroom. And then, how'd you feel at four? Good until I started going down the stairs. At seven, I woke up to a light flicking on and off, but the light wasn't on. Because I turned my light off from like my ceiling fan, so I don't have to run to my bed. And dad finally figured it out that that's how I turned it on. So anyways, when Sam and Sophie get fevers, like whenever they get sick, they get a fever. I never get a fever. I guess that's the difference between how sick I get. They always get fevers, always. And the very first sign that they're sick is their eyeballs. They'll get like a glisten. Their sorry. eyeballs will be glistening. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sophie's eyeballs are glistening. But she has like such a bad headache. She can't walk down the stairs or anything. Good thing I don't have to walk up the stairs to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go and get some stuff at the grocery store and then we'll see you guys in a bit. Sam and Gabby are home. We've been missing you guys so much. Whoa, what the heck? I was not expecting this much. Look, chickens, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> they don't like it. Nobody came. Well, you guys know how you, how chickens will eat pumpkins. They also like squash. So Gabby's going to <laughs> deposit some. Let's see what they think. Oh, they like it. They like it. I'm gonna put that big one. Oh, <laughs> you hear them growling at each other? Those are for you. And these. <laughs> but I'm gonna cook with some of these. Take them out. No, I'm going to, I'm no, editing. You're helping. I'm editing. <laughs> this is a lot. Like, who has that? I'm gonna use that for seeds. I love growing zucchini. Anyway, I'm gonna make, I like this zucchini for baking, this kind. But I'm going to make some zucchini bread. Start taking them out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the biggest one. That is the biggest one. I told her to throw them up here. <coughs> for today, for tonight. <laughs> they seem happy. Wow, that's insane, Sam. I said get a couple of zucchinis. Yeah, I'm gonna try the goats with it too. I'm gonna look it up first, but. So, um, his grandpa grows zucchini, a ton of zucchini. Hi. Chickens will love it. That, did you guys have fun? Yeah. Good. All right. Were they sad we weren't there? No. What? I got into a nice argument with my sister. You got into an argument with your sister? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I didn't go. <laughs> did they ask you? We went to get pizza. <laughs> yeah. Who'd you go get pizza with? Uh, no, no. Oh, that's good. This is like a club. <laughs> oh, I put one well, of these beside my bed. Anybody ever that. breaks in, I could just smack them with it. I'm taking this one inside. This is probably the only one I need for baking. That's a different type. Yeah, I like this kind. Do you think I could get seeds? Do the seeds? Well, you can get any of these. We'll for seeds, seeds, yeah. I'm going to take that big one because I like that one. Uh, I think if you... Oh! Gabby! She just whacked me with that. Little. It's hard still. I think if you, if you let the chickens eat it, you'll have zucchini plants. <laughs> Probably. Hi guys, welcome to tonight's video. We are on the hunt for spooky places and we always go to spooky places, but we've been slacking, Gabby. We haven't gone to one yet this year. Yeah. But, funny thing is, for some reason, they've been popping up all over my Facebook. So, I found two, but we're going to go to one tonight because the other one's uh, too far away. And we're going to check it out because we've never been here before and they, they've been doing it for years. But yeah, we're going to check out this one and maybe tomorrow night we'll check out the one in Norwood. They're usually for charity. This one's for the um, Hotel Dew Hospital in Kingston, I think it is the charity. So, we're going to, you know, donate money and check out the scary haunted trail Ooh, look it's already spooky there's spooky things going on down there how it might go how um no one not one of us screams i don't think yeah it's probably gonna be we more of go, a fun oh, thing oh god Ooh, spooky spookiness there's a pole oh 
It's a big, big skeleton. I don't seem that kind of That's like huge. Ten foot skeleton sitting down. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with it, really. No, because it only attaches, see? Standing up, so they had to detach it. Oh, cool. Cool. Put you in the stocks, Gabby. Put you in the stocks. I'm gonna go in the stockade. Oh, this is the Game of Thrones chair. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Okay. It's the Game of Bones chair. We gotta put the donations. Take some pictures all you want, guys. Yeah. Do I put donations there? Yes. We're going to the uh, hotel duel, the children's pediatric clinic. All right. Gabby, you want a Tootsie Roll? A Tootsie Roll? I always thought this guy was going to pop up, but... Yeah, that's why I stayed back. <laughs> oh, here it is, the string. Oh. No, that's not the string. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. It's death. Death is there. Is there a reaper? Yeah. Greetings. Dear visitors, apologies for the untidiness of my surroundings. I haven't had a chance to clean. I've been in mourning, you see. For my back, oh, my try to get you. <laughs> Have you come forth to offer yourself as a potential suitor? Is it your desire we be soulmates? No way! <laughs> <laughs> on to the important matter. <laughs> yeah. Come on in here. <laughs> to abide by his rules will result in coming to your house and killing you. Oh. Especially with his sucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of his heads. He also has a burlap sack. Sometimes you see him with a burlap sack in like other pictures and stuff. <laughs> You'll notice a few things on the table here. Some of them you can actually interact with. These four dolls that are lying down, you can actually touch their tummies and they say different things. So if you want to check them out. That's fun, Daddy. Let's see. <laughs> Free hugs. Free hugs. Free hugs. hugs, yeah. Might be like around here. Oh, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> you want a doll room? A little evil. And this is a monster. Just as old as Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Put you in? Yeah. Okay. Stick your head in there, put your arms in that side. Oh god, wait, is it just wrist? Yeah. Oh, oh god. I there don't you go. like this at all. You're stuck. See you later. See you later, Gabby. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Are you able to get I can't out? Look up. Are you able to get out? <laughs> no? No, I can't. Oh, okay. So, Alright, that was easy. You can get out. But usually these are locked. Like usually they're longer and they lock each end. Don't you know that you're beautiful?